How do you get an idea from your head, put it into here on your Arduino Uno, and then get it set up on your model railroad, something like this. You're going to need the Arduino IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. And what is that? That is where you will write your sketches. It's like a sketch pad, like a notepad, where you're going to write your information down. And I discussed that in a previous video. So here, I'm going to show you how to get that on your computer. Let me show you how. You're going to need the Arduino IDE. So let me show you what that is. That's this right here. And I'm going to show you how to get it on your computer. You have to go to Arduino.cc. That's the Arduino website. We're all familiar with this, I hope so far. And you go over here to software. And this is Arduino IDE 1.8.19. And if you're using Windows like I am, and I'll show you how to get the Windows version. And they have hourly builds on there, as you can see. A lot of different things on there. But we're just going to concentrate on the Windows version. Windows Win 7 and newer. You can contribute or you could just download. And we'll do that right there. So we're going to put it on the desktop to make it easy. Boom. And I'll move this out of the way. Boom. And we'll just open and we'll click on yes. And basically it's going to install the IDE on your computer. Now, since I already have it, I'm not going to go through the steps on it, but all you have to do is click on yes and it'll walk you through the steps. And you'll end up with this right here. And this is where you write the code. We'll get into writing the code a little bit later in another video. That's one option. So the second option, and you could also use the web editor. And we'll come down to here to Arduino Cloud click on that and click on web editor now since I'm already logged in and already have an account I have a lot of different sketches on here right now but all you have to do is set up an account and you could put your sketches on here you could and that way you can go from one computer to a next and even go to a different location and still have your sketches available to work on, to upload to your Arduino, do whatever you want, share it with someone. This is how I share it on my webpage. 
This is where I keep everything and I share it on my web page in my projects folder. So that's all there is to it to get your ideas up and running. Now there is one more option. There's one called Embryo Visual Programming. And let's go back to the beginning. And it's basically, it looks like this right here. We're not going to get into that right now. There, this is one of them, and there are many more. This is a free one. There are paid ones also. This is, if you would like to, like the visual approach to it, you could even do it with Visual Basic. And we won't get into that. That's beyond the scope of this video right here. But the two main ones is the Arduino IDE and the Arduino Web Editor. But I just wanted to make you aware that there are other ones out there like this one. This called Embryo. And there are more than this that you could choose from. We'll talk about how to program later. But if you want to see how I did the sketch for that scene at the beginning of this video, it's under Voice Welder. And there, it is actually two sketches on two Arduino Pro Minis. And you can watch this video here. Sound with Welder. Sound activated. And everything is on this website right here. This is DF Player Voice Welder and Fire Welder. And there's one with voice and there's one that operates the lights and the fire. And we'll get into all that stuff later on. But this is just to show you what is available that you could do with an Arduino. So... Until the next time, we'll see ya.